Hello, good good morning, and welcome everybody in this amazing session. Today's our webinar is about steel structure design with the help of Sipe software. My name is Pavan, and I'm a country manager of Sipe software. Joining us, our civil engineer and from our technical department, Mr. Antonio Martinez and Mr. Mufikur from our Sipe distributor, Bangladesh. Hello, it's my it's my pleasure to having us. So let me a little overview about SIPE. What's a SIPE? SIPE is a Spanish company that developing software for AEC sector. It has a very powerful tool that meet the demand of modern infrastructure to design and analyze the program. Whether your project, a project is for residential, for commercial, for industrial, SIPE provide very efficiency and accuracy in your project. Also, we have solutions for architecture, MAP, project uh, structure design, and project management. And our work is based on Beam Server Center. But today's our more focus on about the structure part. So I would like to request Mr. Mufikur, please say something about today's this session and about your idea about SIP. Please. Hello, everyone. I'm pleased to my introduce to me. I am Mafiju Rahman uh, from CAT Solution, Bangladesh. I'm an MAP and SBAC consultant. So we are working in the SIPI software 2018. So SIPI software is a first world is a country. They are introduced the software is a simulation based. So we are using the software. Then we can analyze the, our everything. So what is my problem and how to overcome? So today we are introduced a structural uh, part to our uh, Martinez. So I think Martinez, you can start. Thank you. Yes, please. I will like to request Mr. Martinez, please show these powerful tools and capability of this software to design steel structure with our viewers. Today we'll talk about uh, the steel and CP. You know? uh, yes. We have two power tools we call CP3D mm -hmm. and Strubim Steel. Uh, CP3D will permit us to make analyze of forces, uh, deflection, we design some nodes, and we permit to make reports, check according to codes. And also, if we want to make manufacturing of this steel model, we also use the Strubim Steel to complete the, the drawings, the drawings of the joint, the drawing of the part, the drawing of the assembly, a mixture of this element we already talked. So let's go to the CP3D. So when we run the CP3D, we have this type of interface, no? 3D interface with possibility to create different view of the model we are using or to see part of the element we are trying to analyze. Uh, we have many ways to fit uh, the scene. We can directly input bar, node, shell, or we can also use um, a powerful tool to import file. We can be DWG file or a take step file to import bar. So, um, the way to understand the program maybe we don't have time to to show all cases if you permit me i will just show you a simple powerpoint with some cases we do so in this case we can see the combination of concrete and steel we have different part of steel element we are embedded in the in the model we'll be able to do it we can see sim simple element like this we can also see very simple element like stair with um, with a wood element like this. We can see aluminum element. We can also be done. We can see another complex structure like this. So you see, there is very different job. This is only a small part of what we can do. When we go to the section we can introduce, I try to put in this image different tip type of section. Later, we'll see it with the program, the different type we permit. We can see a complex structure like this, another complex, uh, different type of structure, 
all these have been made in the CPA 3 d So we can still continue to see different types. So this is a, a way to understand the, the capacity of the program, no? or different type of job, simple, uh, complex, irregular jobs. Uh, there is a lot of type of job we can do. Any type of job has a process to be input or to verify. So with this simple introduction of the type of job, let's come back to the program, no? CP3D, we, we was talking about it. The best way to understand is to make a simple job and later we show another job we were already introducing. So I will start with a simple job Once we input the basic information of the name, we can start making importation of EFC, but we will do empty job. So you see uh, the process. The, the, power of, the power of the program leads in the point that we are able to select a lot of different type of uh, code to be verified. In this case, uh, it seems that we, we, we can use our error code or American uh, code in this in this country, no. So in the future, maybe we we'll put particular code for Indonesia. But now we have the possibility to change all this code. You see, I already select the ASCII code user, and for code form still, we have also the possibility to change a code. But in this case, we leave this default code to continue. When the code is fixed. We have also the possibility to create a category of usage. At this moment, program will permit to change the type of steel according to the code we select. But we have also the possibility to create different type of steel if we need. But firstly, we'll use the steel we are included in the selected code. We 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 can we can see that the program will permit us to make the fire resistance check. We permit also to generate dynamic earthquake, earthquake loading, and also we have the possibility to change different load case we'll use. In this case, let let me simply add two a live load and a dead load. We can also add a wine load to be, but this will be very simple. We have also in the in the case we make the calculation of the footing. We fix in these windows the a lower soil bearing. So we finish with this. We have all time the possibility to come back with the project general data and feel free if some of these parameters will be changed. So with this general uh, parameter, now we can continue to make the geometrical addition. So we have in this point windows the possibility to create different view. We can create it now or later, or we can continue directly by making bar to continue. So I will make the introduction of a bar. In this case, I will choose the property of the bar. In this window, we see also the possibility of different type of elements CPA can be used according to the type of job. So if we if we see in the generic, we have the possibility to introduce roll steel section, we have the built up section, and we have also the core comfort section. When we choose this, we see the different drawing. We have the possibility in a simple example like this, we cannot load all type of element. You have the possibility also to use timber, to use aluminum, to use a, sex, a special section. You have to define with the segment of this. You can also make a generic concrete uh, behavior. Normally all, all consent concrete is better to do it with CPCAD. That another another thing we'll talk another another moment. Oh, today we have to talk about steel. So let me uh, remain with the um, roll steel. And in this case, I will uh, put like uh, I want to put a column. I change the 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 input value. Let me put this. We have the possibility to create different library to import 
this will not be problem if the manufacturing section is not included. We will have to uh, the possibility to create it. Into the, this is an advanced question, maybe, no, to be done to another moment. We have also the possibility to create composition of this sex, uh, this simple section with how chains, without how chains, with concrete slab. Let me continue with a simple case. Now we are loaded the mouse with this information. We only draw it. Maybe three meter will sufficient. I want to put another yes, five meter. So this, okay. Uh, this bar. We have also in the general setting the possibility to set the type of setting, the type, the type of snapping according to the way we want to uh, work. So when this uh, frame is drawn, we can come back to describe element. We see that maybe this one, we want to change it with the right click. We change it to another section. Maybe this one will be enough according. Later we'll see what type. If we go closer, we see how this is being introduced. We also have the possibility to create, describe, and change this position, of course, and turn it. Let me leave it like this. And we can still draw the another frame, or we can use tools like copy element and copy just this to this position. So we can also use another tools or introduce. There is a lot of way to make the, 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 the same process, but different way. So I will divide this bar maybe in five position. I make also this. And now I use bar, I introduce. Instead of introducing, I, I can copy, of course, with tools, copy element. We can copy two by two, three by three. No, no, this. But for this simple case, we make a job like that. We will continue with the bar option, like engineering, maybe I want to group element. I want all column for this simple case to be the same. So I group them. So when I make one changes, all will be changed. The same thing I want to make with these four links. I group them and this element, I also group them. So you see the difference when we, we describe some element, describe this. When we change one element, all will be changed. So maybe I don't need, uh, later we'll see that, no? We can continue with node external physicity. We choose all the node, and we can make like AutoCAD. We choose a lot of node. With the right click, we fix the fixity, the external fixity. We can also continue with some particular setting. If we want to pin the, 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 the end of the bar, we go to the bar, pin end, and if we make a click, in the center, you see that the program pin the, the two extreme. We can also make a key to remove it or to put it. So I want to put to this element because I decide that it will work isostatic. So when this is, is, is done, we can also continue to, to make the disposition. To make it realistic, we go to the describe disposition. I will choose all this bar. and fix it in this point. Program will take account the eccentricity. So if we go to the 3D view, we can see exactly how the, the disposition match. So, so we will see this fixing. So let me close it. We continue. We can also make loading. We have the possibility to put load in node, to put load in bar, but in this case, I to go more quicker, I will use enter panel. So I will put a panel load. So I draw 
the surface to be make the distribution, the direction to make the load. And now in the self weight or the dead weight, I can introduce the load maybe of the, the slab I want to have the concrete slab, or I can also introduce the live load I want to introduce. I can change the setting so the unit will be uh, suitable according to the, the country I am working. This will be do with this button. Feel free to change this. So when I make the introduction of the panel load, I can come back and in the, in the load menu to force program to show me this information. Now in the case of uh, live load, we see that. If we come back with load visible case, I change to live load, we will see the distribution will be made. You can check that program, make the distribution according to the range of distribution. The last one, we have the half of the load and the center, we have the double, so you don't need to do it. There is a lot of command, maybe <laughs> that we don't have time to see it. If we go to the load, we, we choose the option, activate, disactivate, super loving. We can choose one bar and say that if we don't receive the panel load. When we check the information, you see that this don't receive this load. Let let remove this option so it will be like the default default option. Okay. So we have the geometry, we have the load. Maybe we want to fix some parameter like the booking ourselves. So we we'll choose all these elements. If we have a residual value to avoid the bookle in that direction, there will not be, so we remove it. So now with this, we can run the job. When we go analysis, we can also input another bar to make no linear analysis. This will be made with this option, behavior, no linear. Well, we don't make it very, let's go to the analyze and we go calculate stresses and strain. So we run the calculation. This is a simple model, maybe to give more time to, to use the time we have. So we have three possibility to permit the program to make changes according to the library or to verify exactly what we introduce because we want to check the structure. We will leave it to this possibility. When the analysis is run like this, we, we come back with the analysis menu and go directly to check, check element. This will force the program to show us element we don't work like this, like this, or like this. When we make a click, we will see the possibility to make more changes, to select another one. Uh, what pr the program can offer us, the possibility to change directly in this point, the double of load and all be changed because I group this element. If I come back, I force the program to make analysis because I change the, the section, the property of the section, I will force it to verify these changes and we can come back to check element and we see that all is right. We can see also the ratio of behavior. In this case, we are working at 76, 6%. If we need more information like engineer uh, to see the ULS check, we can use this option and make a click some element and to go through all verification which is being made by the program. No? In this case, I select a, a, a bar we don't have compression. Let's go to the, the column. We can see the different part of the code who are being checked. This is very important for engineer to know why the program give information. So we can go through the verification by made. We can also generate a report. If we want more information, we can go with analysis forces and with forces, we can see the diagram of uh, the load case, or we can go to the envelope to see the poorest case. In this case, we can select all bar or select bar only. We can consult forces we need to see, which the bending forces, we can 
also go through this element to go through the point to see all forces we need. We know that the program will make design with the porous element. No? So this gives capacity for the engineer to have more all information he needs in the windows. We can all go also go and see the displacement of a node. We can see it uh, with simple load case, or we can change and see it to the displacement combination. So we have the capacity to make analyze. If we if want to continue with another possibility of the program, we can go to the join and generate join. So the program has embedded um, a method of design, which is a method of component, but this is limited. In some case like this, it will be able to generate all the join we have. In some case, you know, it will not be able, so we have to use the CP Connect. We'll talk it later. So once the, the join are generated, we have the possibility to run another time the job. And this time we can fix the design of connection to permit program to try to design with this method or connection. So when the design is being made, we can come back with the join and edit to go through the design no? to see the result. So, so uh, another time we see that program will permit us to go through all the the code check which be made to reach to the result. We have also the possibility to block it or we can also go here and see the verification which is being made. So the program prepare us to make the, the, the plan of the job no? with all this. So if I close this, we can try to see what is happening with this case. We see that there is a problem. When I force program to design this, so I have to make the column a little bigger, no? It depends because this method ne needs this. So if I describe this, let's try to force it a little bigger and we make calculation and stress and we force the design. Okay, if we come with join and edit, we have the result. We can also make the design with bolted or no. So we have the result of the join of the base plate and we can go in the beyond tabs in foundation. In the foundation windows, we have the possibility to generate we can make it one by one, or the program can help us to generate the footing and the tie beams, no, like this. When this is done, we can design it. The design is being made, and we have also the possibility, always we have the possibility like engineer to understand the design being made by the program. With the code check, we can go are uh, over the all the verification in this time the pressure on the soil the overtuning the bending on the path footing the share and the bottom program give us the verification which has been made no so this will be very important we can also force program to show us the 3d disposition no? so in this simple case we see that without okay let's go come back to the structure tab and what type of output we can have program permit us with the tool command to make report of a selected element we can make it or we have the possibility to go to file and make a re complete report of all the job so when we make click of this button we have possibility to choose all the chapter we need so uh, if we want also the program to give us result about bar or node, we, we select it. If you want us to give our result about join, we select it. This will force program to create a very big, how to say, a report of all the information about the code we were uh, choosing the job, the load, the description of the node. Well, this is, we not spend time to, to, to go through this, but uh, this is an information to take account. Also, 
we have the, pro the possibility with file to make the output of drawing. When we start, but before we make the output of drawing, maybe it's very important to come back with the windows because now we hold only one, we only have a 3D view. It's be, it will be very clever to create all the plan we need. So let me create a frame plan of the first frame. And can create a second frame, but let's come back with the 3D view and create another frame. I call it floor frame, floor plan. So with these two, two view, we can also manage in the windows to see a tile horizontally or vertical mm, information. We can work with the three windows at the same time. I will continue with this. So go, let's go back to the drawings. With these two, two view created, we start creating a, a drawing type, 3D structure with a 3D view and the two plan we already created. We have the possibility to, to, do, to don't do it. We want a real section. We want also the dimension, the section type, the length bar. We can put all information we need here. And we can also create in the queue a foundation plan. We can also add a layout plan. We can make a configuration to ensure that all information will be drawn. Okay. We can also add the join we are created. Let's come back with a flow plan and a flow plan. Okay, flow plan. Let's go to the configuration setting and the footing, and we'll draw uh, the start with the tail, drawing reinforcement. Okay, accept. With this information, we generate the plan, and we can see with detail of all information. The base plot, plate, how they will be drawn, the, the table of the tie beam. We can also see the a section, how to construct them. We can also see a representative of the plan of the reinforcement, how they, they will be done. We can also see is is the same reinforcement for all them. Program know that and make the group, no, so that we have the one section. We can come in these windows to see the 3D view, how we put the information, the plan view, and the section view. We can also go in the below windows. A moment to see all the typical join we were resolved. So this will be very important. So in this simple case, we see, we just see in a minute how we can do a simple case, no? But if this is not enough, we have the possibility, of course, to connect or to link this job with, a, with the BIM server, with a project, And I will have the possibility later to share this information. The information we just make here, simple case. We will export it with forces. So we can close, of course, the 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 CP the CP 3D to talk about uh, the the Strubim steel. This is the Strubim steel. The Strubim steel will permit us to make more uh, specific manufacturing plan on drawing, and also can we gi will give all the possibility to make some output. We call it a um, digital output. That means that we can make a DSTV export, which is a um, German standard to to give information to machinery, to cut plate, to cut bar. 
So we can make it by step, we can make it by EFC, but also we can make drawing. This, the, the example we are looking about is another case which was made by me. So uh, once we are here, we use the possibility the program have to create connection with the bar. So when we make addition of the joint, we can see that the Strubeam still use a powerful editor we call CP Connect to permit to adjust element like this. So there are a lot of command in this point. We permit us to create the connection between the element we already draw in the model or we import it about the uh, uh, from the beam server. So this is a simple join. We can also look about another join, this one maybe. When we make addition, we can see that we make two operations. We make the adjustment and we make the introduction of the rigid element. Later, we have possibility to go to the sheet windows to see the composition of the sheet we want to make and to describe. We have a powerful tool, which is this one, We permit us to put tag, dimension, in, uh, we can make also section, on the purpose to generate different type of drawing. Later, we'll have the possibility to go to documents. Let's go to documents and we can create a, we have to understand maybe the, the general idea of this program. We have a general scene. This is a general scene of 3D of all element. We can go to different view we can create. And also we have the possibility to have the same of any join we have resolved. So we have the, the same of any job. We have the same of any part in the model. We have a same of any assembly that will permit us to have a composition or a plan of all these elements. So in this job, this job is I'm just using it like example to give a general idea about the Strobeam steel. No? So when we go to the um, composition, we will see a composition about uh, the column, about the, the general element of to create the platform of the steps. We can complete it more, with more information with the handstand, with this element, We can go through all nodes we were created in the job, and we can also create a 3D view of different frame was input. So it will be very easy to the manufacturer to 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 realize this. This was a, a general view of the Strubin steel, but let's continue with the job we just shared a, a, a moment. So I will create a new case. Let me regis register it in. Okay. Simple case. Resumize. We said that CP3D will permit to give a guarantee of verification of bars and footing another element. But the Strubeam still will permit us to continue with special join. We cannot be do by CP3D and to make manufacturation plan. No, it's, so let's continue. I will share this job with the job we have information. So I catch this information, so I don't need to redraw all bar. No, this is the purpose of the Strobeam steel. Help you to don't redundant with more information. So now we are in a new scene. Instead of using the edit command to input element, we can we see that we have the possibility to fix the code because why we need code? We need code to check some join. If we don't need code, well, 
this will not be any problem. So we can choose the American code or the record um, code to to make verification. What is the next step? If we don't ha have to input more element in the same, only we we'll have to make the appropriate connection. So program will permit your us with the connection command to generate connection between element. In this case, I choose the principal beam and the secondary beam. So with the CP Connect, which is the unique editor, what I will do, I will start with the simple operation. I can start with the adjustment. There is some case I will need to create some plan to create it or input another auxiliary bar in the same to make the connection. But in this case, I don't need it. I will just make adjustment. I will select the V1 bar to make it with the V2. In these windows, we can go through and have more information. If we select this button, when we move, we have more information. So we make the adjustment, but this in this case, I want to make the adjustment with the flange, not with the web. So the adjustment is being made in the web. I can profit to make also welding. I will make the welding only, only with the, 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 the web, not without the flange. So when I choose this information, let let go uh, this. V1, no, I oh, I forget. The V2 will be adjust with the V1. So you see, but I want to cut the welding. This model cannot be analyzed because I have interference no? between the, the top flange with the another one. So we use another command who permit us to do it, the trim section. The trim section command will permit us to make a trim, trim with the V2 with the V1. No? No, V2 to the top and we will reduce the, the value. Instead of one, we put 120. Okay. You see, if I need to make it more shorter without a, a big gap like this, when we have a gap, we have collision, of course. So, so I will reduce it. With this simple operation, the adjustment and a trim, we have this connection. We can go and force the program to make an analysis. So now we are using the powerful of uh, the CP Connect to make the analysis. Here we can have more information about the stress strain uh, to know what is happening about the section in the surrounding of the conduction, the welding, if the ratio of behavior, and we have more improved verification if one someone needs to know more about this. We can see the von Mises stresses if we need to understand more how this behavior. We can go through the sheet creation. In this case, you see that firstly, we have the model. We describe the model. Second, we make the analysis. If it is right, we don't have to make changes. We continue with the sheet creation. In this case, I don't like this square. I remove it. Normally, if we want to make a format and template, we can insert it. If we already created, we can use it. If we don't have it, we can create it with the program. We can use basic simple element to create a rectangle like this. We can put more information about lo uh, the logo of the company, more information, but let's go directly how to fit the scene with the with this information. If we go to the 3D scene, we use the automatical generation because this sheet is attached with the model we created. So we only have to decide how this information will be fit. We have vector image, we want to generate the style text according to the default value we choose here, of course, and the view the, gen the defect view the program generate will be served. So we accept and program put this information. We have a lot of command here to make 
the arrangement according to our behavior. We can put it in the center, we can move one drawing, we can add tag of the element. The program knows this information, so only we have to show it where we need. If we want to make more, more information about the welding, we also can, can show it. If we need to change how programs show this information, instead of put, putting the section of the profile, we, are, we want also to add information like the length of the type of steel. We can go and choose it to the default view. So when we, we, not, when we accept, we complete it. No? The, the, the program gives us more information. If we want to pay, put more information like dimensioning, we can put it. Normally, this bar is a, is another part. We don't need to put the dimension here. But if we have a plate in the model, it will be very important to introduce it. But I'll just use it like a mode. So we have this join, which is created. If we come back with the model view, to don't repeat this information, we can export it in the library. We can give a name. Once we, we walk, we have the possibility to create a library with this. If we come back and create a new connection and choose this, well, firstly, firstly, we we have the we have the possibility to transfer. So let me delete this connection, and we want to transfer the connection. First, we choose the connection. Second, we choose the element to transfer it. I continue. I continue. I continue. In this case, I cannot transfer it. So I have the. I will make. The possi this possibility, choose this element and this, and use the command to import the one I put in library to make the compatibility of the bar. This is correct, V1 with V1, V2 with V2, I accept, and all information is being bring in this joint. So now I can transfer the information by making connection. I choose this one, choose the central, the second, right click, this, this. So I don't need to repeat this operation. I can do a different operation with this. So I make connection, I choose all elements. We are engaged in this node. How can we make the connection at this point? Well, we can start by making an adjustment of the, the column. So we make the adjustment of the column with the V1 and we give an extension of 20 and the Fortes window, negative value. Just to extend the column. When it is extend, we make adjustment with the V1 with the column. And now we we profit to make the welding. So we have the first operation. I extend a little bit the column. I make adjustment. And now we can go with the second element. We can copy this command. And instead of applying with V1, we apply it with V2. And directly we have something like this. We can make it complex, we can use plate, but for me, it's enough to show you this possibility. We can go through the sheet to one time more, talk about this. Remember, we use the 3 d scene. We can manually input one by one the view we need of the possibility we'll create with this scene of the join we created. We have the possibility to put the color or we can copy this scene and edit the parameter to change the way uh, the, the analyze the match the, the the image was being made like this. We can use the tag option, of course, to continue on. So we are watching the possibility of the 
the program to create this. What else can we do? Normally we have a 3D view that we can create a particular view of the job. Maybe we can create a section. From this point, let's use the ortho command and I will create a view like this. Frame zero one. I accept it. We have this is the frame zero one. You see, if I go 3D view, frame zero one, we can create another view which is the floor. The same thing we do in this and we click floor. Okay, this is a floor view. So we have the floor, the frame one, the 3D view. So in this, in this, in the in this, we have the possibility to create all view we need. Later, also we have the possibility to create tag information. This will be very important if we want to create table with different elements. We can call a tag with all element, all element, or we can only call maybe poor links, poor links. Once we create this, we can give a different color about this element. Okay, well, let's put this. And now we can go to the, the assign tag and select element we want to be attached with this. So once we, we continue and we try to make a model view, we have the possibility, of course, when we input the send of this information, okay, we go input a 3D view of all the information we have there. We choose, instead of the flow, the 3D view of this information. We leave it like this with image. And we have also have the, pro the possibility to input a table. This is automatical table we were created by the program according to the tab defined. So program put all the element with the tag uh, we call pooling. If we make it with a complete element, here we still have available the possibility to create, of course, tag of element. We can continue with this, with this, with this, with this. Program give information of the, the assembly, but we have the possibility to change it. We have this option to edit this information. We select it. Uh, no, firstly, we edit this information and we change it instead of the composition of the, the part, we can use directly the profile. Once we change it, we can assign this property to a different element. It depends the way we work. Now, this will permit us to have different time of working. We can make each modification or the general. But this is the way to work with this program. No, this will permit us to reach us. Let me show another job. <clears throat> I was working with this a webinar I do in the past. Of course, I make a case like this. No, so. When I reach here, I use editor to try to make this type of design. So we can see the original way, what I have, what something like this. A beam, the intersection of two beams. I start, I start inputting a bar in the same we can see this is the bar we was input in the same. Next, I bolt, I weld, uh, pardon, I, I weld the bar I put in the same and to finish, I bolt it. This information 
was analyzed and I create a sheet. Later, I will use to uh, complete the drawing of the job. Also, I repeat this information in this point with a different type. In this case, I decide to bold them. The basic operation I use to make it, the knowledge of the CPEC Connect permit us to start with the adjustment. I receive, I receive um, this type of bar in the model. Firstly, I make adjustment. Next, I, po I put a frontal connection. I put stiffness and I verify it. No? So I also create shape to be available. In this case, it was not created, but we can profit to make it automatically. So you see it. Two. So it create two, two, two different paper. So we can organize it better than the way the program do. So when we go to documentation, remember the aim of using the Strubeam steel is to permit two type of uh, two type of output. Uh, we already talk about the digital output. We are concerning this type of uh, no, I was uh, moment export. This type of file, DSTV, STEP, and EFC. If I make a EFC output, I would I would generate it in the the general windows. EFC. Okay, so this information is being generated, and now we can use an external visor like Beam Vision to see the information we do in the program. So normally, if we are working with, a, we see all the information we reflect in this will be in, see in the job, no? So this will be the advantage of the digital output. But if we need the analogical uh, output, that's why we, we have to work with drawings and reports, okay? Um, there is, for make it more dynamic, we don't talk more about the streaming steel. Let me show you some jobs, different jobs we didn't talk. And we go with CPCAD, is another program which deal with concrete, but also manage the knowledge of CP3D. Let's watch this, uh, this structure. This structure was analyzed in CPCAD, but it have a mixture of different type of element. So we have a mud foundation, we have concrete element, and we have a lot of uh, metallic different composition like this. So how they do it? We draw the Mat Foundation CP card and we use what we call 3D structure integrated. We permit us to use all the knowledge men we know about the CP 3D to complete this part of the structure and mix them to make a general analysis. So this is very important to know this, no? Because in the mixture, normal we are using the force of both program, no different program are using to force to to complete quickly certain partic uh, particular element. We can also edit. Permit me to edit this this another part of the model, which is very simple, and also we can edit this one. They put to fix a, a silo. I don't know, they call it silo in English. I'm sorry, eh? my English is not very good, mm -hmm. but so. No, you, are doing, you are doing a very good job. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you you see, this is another small uh, small metallic structure they need to be. You are very eh? <laughs> so, so maybe this example is very significant to, to show how we can use the force of CP3D and the force of CPCAD to combine a mixture of structure like this. Uh, let me show another type of structure. Um, maybe. 
uh, this structure I'm showing is a, um, a structure to climb a hill. It permit to climb a hill. Maybe the, the way to understand it, if I force the program to show me the template we was used to make it, you can see in this point that there is a hill to climb. There is a, a sanctuary, we call it in Spanish. That means that uh, people need to go on top of the hill where they are old, so they need a, a lift. So this is the, the, the project of this lift. So you can see that another time we use the combination of concrete element and a trust which is being made in, with CP3D. So if we go in the floor, we, we use it, we can use the edit structure and make a click here to have more information about that part and you see that is the, the same option we use no? to make addition, to create the bar, to, to create, to make the additional part of structure. No? Well, and let me come back to the CP3D. Maybe we'll have another, if we stay, this is the job we just make with you with CPCAD. If you go to the file management, let me show some another case file recent file uh, if you want to see some some complex job like this martin is a well presentation eh? the well presentation in the short time you're doing better and i think my country people will understand mm -hmm. and they have a question i Back to you. Mm -hmm. Gracias. I'm not easy. <laughs> I am able to come by I understood how to okay. solve the structural. Then I think our expert will be know the software issue. So we're yes. doing good. It's very difficult to show all possibility of the program. So that's why I focus it like this. Show you how to make a simple uh, case and uh, next we can complex. Then there is something I have to add also. Um, the program have some example that can be loaded to see how they was done. No? This, 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 this case I'm just loading now is another way to show how they make the stage to a, a, a cine, complex cine. So this is a multi-cine. <laughs> so you see that we can work with different windows to see part of the job and, and work in this in this in this place. No? So if I come back here and force the program to show a 3D view in complete uh, complete job, we can show this is seven cines, seven halls of cines. No? So you see how they are disposed, the projector, projection um, hall to visit the different place. So this type of project, we are big, also can be analyzed. No? So for me, we need more time no, to show all possibility of the program. No? But uh, this is a session to give a, a, a general view what we can do. No? So I thank you for, for so you watching the any, video. If you have any questions regarding webinar, you can. Yeah, definitely. This is a short time. Short time we cannot. If someone have any question regarding webinar, you can write in the comment sections or you can write in our email ID. My email ID is pavan.cor at the rate site.com. Or you can contact with Mr. Mofikur also if you want anything more about the software. Perfect. Th sure. Thank you. Uh, Thanks. Uh, Thank you. I will talk to you in the Actually, I will uh, talk about uh, my local language. So, our local people. Okay. Nice. Nice. I imagine. <laughs> This is good. You have our support to help you in this question. If some people make question and you need a special response, I will be available to, to help. No, <laughs> no problem. So for me, 
thanks you very much for your time i appreciate it <laughs> thanks to you give your time and showing us these powerful tools very appreciated yes this is my job that will be an <laughs>